Hello, so for today's video, it's going to be a pretty shorter one, I would say. As of now, I'm not really sure. So we're going to be modifying the Paragon combo system a, a little bit, just to make it a bit more scalable. So right as of here, we can see we've got the Shinbi character. It's just a Paragon character. And we have like one, two, three. It's a attack combo attack consisting of three animations. And if you look at the logic, uh, I just fixed up some of the other parts where it spits out some errors because it's using the uh, deprecated version of the input events. But I just fixed them up, and you don't. Uh, after you fix them up yourselves. Uh, which I'm pretty sure everyone who's watching this video at this point would probably know or can figure it out. If someone needs some figuring out on that part, I can uh, leave a comment below and I'll try to make up uh, a quick video uh, to that part. But for today's video, uh, for this video, I'm trying to focus on this part, the combo system setup. Once you have a Paragon character and you look into the combo system, you're gonna have like an input calling, uh, left mouse button in this case, or the uh, gamepad face button. And then uh, when if it's attacking is set to true, it sets save attack to true. And then if it's not true, if it's set to false, we set the attacking to fa uh, true, and etc. We'll not go too much into detail about the logic side of it. We're, uh, I'm just going to mention. I'm just going to go over this part specifically. So here we have these. Uh, let's just make a copy of this. Just to s compare it. Uh, original. So here. So when we attack, uh, we when the attack count is zero, meaning it's the first initial attack, we raise the attack count by one, or more like set it to one, and then play the montage. Right? We're gonna change this a little bit so it's a bit more scalable. So we don't have to whenever we uh, create extra animations and all that, we have to add another execution pit node. Dragon create another montage node and uh, and so on. So we're gonna modify this a little so we don't have to do that and make it more scalable. So first, I'll just get rid of these. I'll try to keep using this. I prefer using the other montage play uh, node, but for this video, we'll just use this. So all we need here is this, as you can see. And then we're going to need an array of montages. First here, we go to the variables, create a, oh, I was working on this a little bit just to test things out, create this an array. So here, uh, for most of you people who just turned on the engine, it's going to be something like, so. So when you create a new variable, it's going to be a boolean with a single variable uh, type. Uh, it's a boolean type. We're going to change this to anim montage object reference. And then here, as in the variable type, we're going to change it to an array. And let's call it attack montages. And then here, we'll start off by adding those three montages. We'll just have Shinbi. For my case, I'm using Shinbi's attack, so we'll just use B, C, and D. And then here, we're going to be basically using pretty much the same logic, but just getting one from the attack count. So initially, it's going to be set to zero anyway. 
and we're going to go here and montage and like so connect it from this part to this node to the montage play my anim montage and from here to play anim montage and then after this oops after this attack animation has played we're going to increment it Also, so the thing here we, we have to keep in mind is here after the last attack, we they have it set up so it's manually setting it back to zero. But in our case, uh, we don't know. We have to uh, add that uh, similar logic here. So here, if it's the last attack, set, uh, reset the attack count to zero. And here, like so, uh, if we're using a branch. So when, after we increment it, so if after the first attack, it's going to get the first attack montage here, it's going to get this, the first attack, play it, and then increase it to one, which is going to be one here. But then when it's, so when it's the last attack, it's going to be two, it's going to get this last attack incremented, but then there, it's going to be setting attack count to three and then for the next attack it's not going to be exist it's not going to exist and it's but it'll still keep adding up so uh we'll be trying to call a reference to an array index that doesn't exist so we'll have to fix that here so when the attack count is greater than this montage's length minus one we're going to set the attack count back to zero so here uh as we all know mostly the uh, array uh, indexes they start from zero so if it's a length of one it's going to be one because if you only have one uh, item inside the array it's going to be it's going to return one right but then we want to get the first index or in this case the last index is going to be two so if the length is three we're going to check if uh the last index we got is two and in order to get that we need to uh subtract it from the attack montage length which is it's going to return three did I say it right? Uh, wait, should I, it sometimes gets confused. Okay, delay. So we'll just try to follow it up by the logic. Attack count is going to be 2. Goes here. We play the last uh, combo attack. So after the this attack finishes, we want to start going over to the first attack, right? Attack count is going to be 2 here. At this point, it's going to become 3. And 3 is larger than... 3 minus two, 1 which equals 2 right so that's when we want to return it back to attack count 0 we're going to compile this and let's see how it works 1 2 3 and 1 2 3 it goes back and forth and the cool thing about this is as long as this is set up we don't have to add when in the original system you'll have to add attacks you know add more pins and what's not but or if after modifying it like this all you have to do is just add an attack here so let's try something like that. so for the fourth attack let's just try to use this uh we'll just create a anim montage called ability wolves casts something something uh yeah Wolf's cast L montage. Uh, the thing here is we have to remember to add, we still have to add these save attack and reset combo that's set up. So here we'll just set it up here. So in the so we'll be having an attack combo of just get rid of the bones. Attack combo of four attacks uh, cycling. And the last attack will be this and we'll just let's just add a particle effect just to kind of make it easier to see 
Shin B Fields. Doesn't oh that's a quick field, sorry. I'll just attach it to the head just so we can see it. Right. So the fourth attack is going to be doing that. And we'll see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. We see it's working, but it's uh the logic is working, the animation isn't working because it's probably because uh, the slot's not set up properly. I'll just check that again. Go back here. Uh, upper body slot. Yep. Uh, where is it? We'll set this to the upper body slot. Yeah, I forgot about this because uh, the attacks are set up so they work while you're moving around. Two, three, four. One, two. Three, four, and yeah so that's pretty much it for this uh modification this was the original uh pretty much hard-coded into uh having to set those values uh, specifically and then on modification of the combo length you'll have to manually uh get back to it but after you modify it like this, you don't have to worry about it. All you have to worry about is what animations you want to add or remove. So let's say we want to remove it to make it a two attack of uh, the newly newly added attack and the initial uh, beginning attack. And see? So it's much easier and as a game designer i've always found it important to find ways to kind of make things more uh, easily easy easier to iterate on and later on when things are fixed you can get it into a more uh in a better form which is more considerate about performance and etc and i believe that you know the programmers will be a much uh the programs are much skilled at that and as a game designer it's i'm more focused on trying to figure out what the best combination of attacks would be and and uh what the best feel or something that you can uh experiment with just creating a space that's easier to experiment with and i found out with the paragon system like if i just set it up like this it's much easier to try different animations just slot them in slot them out inside of the index i can just change the order here like so and then it's going to be yep it's still going to work i hope this helped with everyone's uh unreal engine studies or game developments and i hope you all have a great day